Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I know I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, but mostly because I haven't really had anything that interesting going on except until today. So today is actually a very exciting day as you guys can see from the title of this video since I can't announce it. You guys already saw the title of the video. I am buying my first car today and I actually think I'm gonna be doing another video dedicated to why I chose this as my first car and also another video why I decided to get a used one instead of a new one. I think I'm gonna do all of that breakdown because I think it's super, super informative, especially if you guys are also thinking about either buying your first car. Maybe you don't have to arrive to the same decision as I did, but kind of have the same type of thoughts or whatever that I did. If you're also thinking about buying a Tesla, whether to go for new or used, maybe it would just gain some perspective. For both of the videos, you would be able to see some of my own decision making and my thought process going into it. This has been a really long journey. Well, not really. This has been quite a bit of a journey because I've been researching and doing my research for over three months. I finally, finally, finally landed on this decision. So I just went to the bank and I got all the money ready. I have literally never held this much cash on my hands. It's not physical cash, it's a bank draft. If you guys don't know bank drafts, it's already out of your account. It's not like a check where you write the amount and then when the person deposits, then the money is taken out. When you have a bank draft, the money is already physically out. So literally this piece of paper, I have never held that much money in my bare hands. Even when I went to put down the deposit for the house, it was not as much as this. But anyway, point is I'm gonna take you guys today to show you guys the whole process. I'm really crossing my fingers that everything does go well. And the reason why I'm saying that is because like I said, I am buying a used vehicle despite putting down a deposit. If you know, I see it in person, if there's a lot of things wrong with it, I do have the option of backing out. And also I will be choosing between two cars. I put a deposit down for two cars. I just thought for my own sanity, that was a little bit safer because let's just say something was cosmetically wrong with one car, then hopefully the other car is gonna be fine. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me and wish me luck. Ah, this is such a big day because this is gonna be my biggest self-purchase ever. <laughs> okay, bye mom. Oh my God, I'm here. Look at all the Teslas. I guess everyone's picking up today. Oh my god, I am so nervous, but excited, but nervous, but mostly excited. Let's go, let's go. So basically, right now, I put a deposit down for two used cars, so I'm just inspecting both of them to see which one I'm gonna take home because it's not like 100% brand new, so I just gotta take a look at everything. So this is the first one. This one is the 2019 model. This one has white interiors. This one is about $3,000 less, and it's the 2018 model. It is driven a little bit less, and it has black interiors on the inside. Um, on paper, this one definitely looks better. There's like lower mileage. It's a later production model. So already by default, the parts are already known to be better on this one. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay guys, I did not film the entire process because I was actually so stressed out and I have finally signed the papers, picked a car. I will go into a lot more detail in another video, but basically I went with the 2018 model with the black interiors and I will just kind of describe the reasoning. Basically, I had to call everybody, but the main difference between the 2018 and 2019 model was that um, everything else in terms of features are the same and I will list the list of features here. The 2019 had the white interiors and the 2018 has the black interiors. From the get-go I've always liked the black interiors because Eric has the white interiors and I was never a fan. However, when I sat in it myself and took a selfie, I was just like, damn, the white interior be looking good on me. But then also some of the deciding factors was just the fact that the white interior like just kind of distracted me for a little bit. Also because I was worried that the 2018 was gonna be harder to resell because just in your head, you would just assume that the 2018 would be not as desirable because like I kind of compared it to like buying an iPhone. Like you would probably wanna buy, you know, like a newer iPhone versus an older one, but I guess it's different because
because the production of the 2019 model was really early in the year and this 2018 model was very much later in the year and also between the two models there were barely any actual quality differences so that's why I ended up just going with the 2018. The even bigger deciding factor was the previous owner between the 2018 and the 2019 model. The 2018 model guy took so much better care of the car. Not saying the 2019 model the person didn't but just visibly the 2018 guy was just so much better. Even the sales associate he told me that he sold the guy the original car and he was like this guy was so detail oriented he came in with a list of things and just he was so on top of his shit so he was like I can see why he took better care of his car not like he met the previous owner of the other car so just even just quality wise um, it just feels like a newer car to me with the 2018 model and also the price difference was $3,000 so I ended up going with the 2018 also I saved 3% tax because since this one was a little bit cheaper I was just under the 55 K before tax threshold so I got taxed at 12% instead of 15 which is what that one would be which got taxed at 15% because it was I think $56,000 so that was another reason why I went with this one this was also the original car that I put my deposit in so that other one just really really distracted me but this one is really the one I originally wanted anyway so this is pretty much the biggest decision of my life like I I don't know like half of me is like really proud of myself because I did this hundred percent on my own I'm not financing the car at all I saved up for this and I purchased it hundred percent just with my cash because I know that the rates for borrowing right now is pretty good but um, I will probably be using that for something else but for this car um, I a hundred percent did this myself so it's such an emotional moment for me because I think this is I don't know just like the moment where I'm just thinking like wow I actually did something monumental <laughs> by myself anyway so sorry this, this is getting emotional and it's gross but now I am in my car um and this is my car guys this is my car guys this is mine like ah 